please join me in welcoming three foreign ministers to talk about visions for Ukraine, the most important vision of which is peace. Annalina Baerbock. Anthony Blinken. And of course, Mr. Kuleva. Wonderful to have you. I'm going to ask you a question that I'm sure you have been asked before, but I would still uh, like to hear your answer is, is there any chance of Ukraine being safe in the long term if Vladimir Putin is still leading Russia? If he doesn't change by what, 360 degrees, no. But everything that happened over the last year, and it's truly remarkable what's happened over the last year, not just in terms of the Ukrainian willingness and capability to fight, but even in, in Germany, and yet he does not appear to have gotten the message at all. Well, I didn't say no without this half sentence beforehand, because I believe in humans, and I believe in human beings, and we have changed by 180 degrees, because we decided on February 27th, and this is why I'm always referring to this, uh, that we changed totally our export policy with regard to weapons. Before, also myself, I said, no, we are not living in conflict areas. But this is a good thing about human beings, if you're still a human being, and if you still see the suffering, that you can say, either I've made a mistake, and I mean, if you never learn from mistakes, you will never end the phase of being a baby. But also, if you recognize, well, this might have been right in the past, but now the world has changed. And on the 24th of February, at least my world, I still think our, all of our world, has changed totally. And then we reflected and said, if our world has changed, our European peace order has been under attack, which I never had to realize in all my life living in Western uh, Germany uh, and being born there. So when we realized this, that we woke up in another world, we said, obviously, the policies from before won't work anymore with regard to our understanding of weapon delivery. This is why we changed by 180 degrees. And if President Putin, and this is why I said it in the beginning, it's in is end. He can make his own decision. He can decide that he changes his course by 360 degrees tomorrow. The whole world would be happy again. Stop the bombing. It's in his hand. And this is why I also think that we should really differentiate. And I'm really thankful to Tony. And he said that first time in Security Council in September.